Hello guys, and today I have an idea and I decided to make a brief video and I have a crazy idea. This is about the trade. So many of you may know there is a trading uh, event going on. I, I believe it's uh, until February 1st where most of you may know, but you can just uh, trade your premium vehicles or special ones too. Uh, for another one then you get half of the cost of your vehicle so I'm still gonna mention it many of you probably know but if you're new and don't know you can take and trade your existing premium vehicle maybe you don't like it or you no longer play with it or you never wanted it so for example I got Viper from the boxes I never really wanted it and uh, I was thinking about trading this in um, because I you know I'm not really playing it so you can right click but this is not instructions this is not about how to trade in it's very simple I have a crazy idea about this and I'm not even sure if it's gonna work and I want to try this I have never done it I have never seen anyone do it and I'm just gonna try it myself and it may be crazy it may be stupid but it may be brilliant if it works it may help out many of you so stay with me and I'm gonna show you what I mean so this is how how it works it, you trade this one let's say for example I'm not trading this one because I changed my mind because I have another idea and let's say you trade this one you get half of the cost and then you can choose any tank that you can buy for gold so let's say you are aiming for something let's say I prefer Asteri, for example, instead of Viper, so I could go and trade this in, and instead of 9,800 gold, so I would only pay 4,821. But let's say you have a tank you don't want, and you have only 2-3 grants of gold just hang hanging around, you can trade in, and let's say you want a Super Pershing and get it for this cheap, 1,421. 25 or for example in my case I want M41 Revalories and don't don't judge me I just love this vehicle and I'm going to get this no matter what and no matter how many golds I have to pay because I have golds um, and I know it's outdated uh, old or whatever it's not that great it's a paper I love it I want this tank I normally don't pay much for this game but I bought uh, boxes this year first time ever and I had 27,300 golds and I got TA32 for uh, 3,500 and rest of the stuff I want to make sure I use it uh, the smartest way possible and get as many tanks as I uh, can so I don't want to just go and spend 6,400 for this one and there is another one tank destroyer I want but it's not here I want the German one but for now let's say I want this one in my example but I do not want to trade Viper I changed my mind because it's good for missions personal missions you can even do damage blocked missions in this and I don't have any other that I hate I don't have that many uh, premium vehicles so there is nothing I want to trade so what do I do so I have an idea and I want to try it now here and show it to you and let's see if it works because I don't know yet. Let's say you are like me, you don't spend that much money, but you collect resources and you collect bonds, and I don't really spend it that much, I just collect it in case there is some special location or some special tank. Let's say you are like me and you have bonds. I have an idea to turn these bonds into gold. And how can we do that? let's try and see if it works so I'm going to store and I'm going to bond store and did you guys guess what I'm where what I'm getting to if you guessed yes you guessed it right I spend 8,000 bonds and buy IS6 black I don't care about IS6 black I don't need it but let's see if I can then trade it for another tank it will be crazy and uh, what if it doesn't work then I'm gonna be stuck with IS6 black let me rethink this let me try this maybe I should try this on a smaller tank 
Okay, let me try... What else can I try? That if it doesn't work, I can keep. And I, I would be okay with it. But IS-6 has a preferential matchmaking. And IS-6 is a heavy tank, so it costs a lot of gold. Uh, 10,000 over 10k. Let's just do this. Let's just try it. Purchase this for bonds. 8,000. And let's see, guys. Let's see, guys. I hope this works. So I just six black moved down in the garage. And let's go to this. And exchange. Oh my god. This is going to work. I turned 8,000 bonds into 5,300 gold because IS-6 costs 10,600 gold. And now I want rivalries and I can get it for only 1,100 golds. Oh my god, I can't believe this is gonna work this is gonna work. One thousand one hundred golds. One thousand one hundred gold will be Handed in and unavailable for recovery in addition the crew will be sent okay trade oh my god guys I'm so excited I only spent 1100 golds for this tank and this is one of my favorites I love this tank sue me say whatever you want about this tank I don't care I love this tank and yes I spent 8000 um, bonds but who cares, I'm gonna make them back, I'm just gonna play and collect them again. But you can't play and collect goals. This is a loophole. I found a loophole, guys. And you guys let me know if you... You saw this first on this channel. Because no one has ever done this, I have never seen a video, I have never heard anyone do this on YouTube. You heard this here first, and I think you should you have to subscribe if this helped you in any way let's say you are like me and you want this tank and you have only 1100 gold so you can get it now you can fulfill your dreams and get your dream rivalries for 1100 gold let's say you bought few boxes in christmas and and during christmas event and you have couple like 2,000 3,000 gold hanging around you can use bonds and convert it into gold and go and buy your favorite tier 8 tanks oh my god man I'm excited guys now you comment down below and let me know if this is crazy if this is dumb if it's worth it or not or if this is brilliant, if this is genius, let me know down in the comments. What I want to find out uh, now is if I can, can do this uh, more than once. But here there are not that many tanks I really want. I want uh, the Kanji PZ-105 TD which is not available for gold, which is pretty pretty um, unfortunate but now what I want to know is can I buy IS-6 black again for bonds and keep it if I wanted to or do this again and exchange it this second times this is a tank I want but um, can I do exchange thing for this Does not look like I can. 
which is pretty bad. I have this rental and I liked it. But let's go back. Wow. Wow. I am surprised. Uh, pleasantly surprised by my achievement and by my finding. So I don't know if Wargaming is gonna like this. This feels like a loophole. So it feels like I'm converting bonds into golds. And uh, if if Wargaming sees this video, they may actually take actions against this in the future. So you guys act fast, and if you find the use for it, just use it. Let me go back, and I actually want. I am interested if yeah, trading mission. I am interested if I can buy ISX black. Oh my god, looks like I can, this is crazy. So I can buy this again, trade this again for another T rate. Um, but I just need to know if I, if there is an, actually anything. And I still have 22.700. Like I only used 1100. And what I would use next. I mean STR is nice, but there is nothing that I really am sure about. This is good too. And uh, skill for LT you made the video, he reviewed all the tanks and uh, with whatever he recommends and whatever he does not. So that's not my goal, I'm not doing that. I like rear mounted tanks too, so and this is cheap. 7200 and this is gonna be for two grants only so maybe I should get this just for the sake of testing it and see if it works again but also I'm gonna spend another 8000 bonds is it worth it I have bonds enough so this tank is not very highly rated no oh, wait I don't want to exchange Vipera even though I would prefer this tank um, over Vipera, but that's not the point. Um, let me check this tank. Because I like the tier 9 German VK, the rear, rear mounted one, I love it. So if this is anything close to that tank, I may be able to enjoy it. Where is it? VK. I just want to see if it works again. And if it works second times. Or let's say you have some uh, useless tier 6 hanging around and you want to exchange it. Uh, you can use it to exchange like T30. 485M is one of the best ones in tier 6 and the type 64 so we can do the same for tier 6s so let's say but uh, let's say I get some tier 6 let's say I get this one and then exchange it into T3485 but before I try anything you need to make sure that the tank you will get here is tradable and is actually uh, worth a lot of gold. So if you, when you come to tier 8, it's, you want to trade, you want to get a heavy tank and you want to get a tank that costs um, a lot of gold. So if we um, trade, the, if we got Selnac instead of IS6 Black, a, this costs way less gold, so we would get way less, but we would pay same amount of bonds, so we are losing. So you want to try and get the most expensive tank that you will sell for the most amount of gold, not sell, trade. So heavy tanks are the way to go. So in tier 6, this may be the best option because it's a heavy tank, but... Um, you, we need to, you need to make sure that the tank you will get for bonds for trade is tradable. And you can see that on their website. There is a list and I might as well um, should show you guys. So one second, let me go to the website. 
Okay, here we are, and this is the World of Tanks website, and there is a trading uh, article and information, and it's available through February 1st. So we have until um, end of this month, we have a few days, and then if you scroll down, I want to trade, receive, wherever, but this doesn't matter, there is a list. And vehicles available for purchase, but and vehicles available for trading, and not available for trading. So those are not available for trade in. Type 59 gold does not matter. This is what we need. So we need to make sure tank we choose from the um, bond shop is actually tradable and is it's listed here. So Tiger 131 is listed here, so we can do this. You click on it and it does not show price because of, I don't know why, it's a uh, variation of another tank. So we need to, if we want to get a price, we need to check something similar. Maybe heavy tank number 6 because it's basically same tank. Let's see if this one has a price. 3,300 golds. So if we get this one in bond shop, we can get uh, 1,650, 1,650 gold, and basically get 50% uh, discount for the T3485. And let's see if we want to buy that. But for now. What I want to do is, uh, what I want to test is, I want to see if I can get this IS6 Black second times and trade it second times, which is gonna be crazy. But there is no tank that I definitely want, so I have to just pick something just to test. And this is in my mind, and I know this is not the best tank. And people don't love this that much, but it does not matter to me. Because many people don't really enjoy rear mounted, to rear turret mounted tanks. And penetration is good, damage is high, uh, reload is slow, aim time is high. Dispersion is okay, actually. What's the armor? Turret armor 250, not too bad. Hull armor 180, that's not that good, but for tier 8, should be good. Usually these kind of tanks have side armor pretty weak, but it has 100, not that bad. You know what, this may not be the best tank, but I want to for the sake of test. I will do this again. So let's go back to garage. Okay, we are here, back to garage. And I may get this too and trade it into T3485M um, T, um, because it's a really good uh, tier 6 tank and it's a must have, I think. But I'm not well, I'm not sure if I want to spend another 5 grand on this uh, 4 points, but what I want to do, I definitely want to test if I can use the same tank as a scapegoat. Basically, we are using this as a scapegoat, literally. Wow. I broke the system, guys. I think you must subscribe now. You can't deny this. And I unlocked something brilliant. And maybe someone watching knew this and done this already, so don't say, oh, you may say, oh, I knew this already, or whatever. Um, but most people don't know this, have not done it, no one has talked about it, I have not seen any video from any YouTuber. So, you see this first here, and I can exchange this again, this is unreal. I'm getting 5,300 golds again. Wow. This is a better tank, okay? So, 
if you want to choose another heavy some YSM is probably be a better tank too um, this is also a better tank I would recommend this but I like pec peculiar tanks and uh, different kinds of tanks and rear mounted uh, turret mounted tanks and it's cheaper it's only 72 and I'm gonna only be paying 1900 for this I am going for this guys I am totally going for this great I don't need crew for now because I have Tiger 2 I can use that crew oh my god this is insane guys I traded IS6 poor IS6 black it's being traded over and over again okay so total I spent 3000 gold and I got two tier 8 premium tanks so I spent 16,000 bonds yes that's true but I can earn it back just collect them by playing and I only spent three grants of gold oh my god I'm excited I don't know about you guys but I hope many people watch this and find this helpful and useful and if you did consider subscribing liking and definitely comment down below let me know if you have heard this or done this and let me know if this is dumb or if this is genius but act fast because I don't know if Wargaming will like this if they uh, see this video let's say and if they find out people do this they may take measures in the future so act fast and go use your bonds to turn them into gold which is crazy on this note guys I like how this tank looks too so it doesn't matter I mean I'm gonna have fun and I can't wait to play my favorite and for a one rivalries baby yes duck this looks like a duck it's gonna be a sitting duck and uh, I should avoid busy 176 is now really avoid them because they yeah, are they will smack me anywhere for 18 800 900 but it doesn't matter I'm gonna still enjoy this tank on this note guys I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will uh, subscribe and like this and use this and benefit from this and on this note see you guys next time I did not want to make this video this long but I was I got too excited and I wanted to test if you could do this twice on the same tank which worked and it's crazy so if you stuck around for this long I appreciate it and see you guys next time now bye